Okay, so now we're going to talk about vectors. <clears throat> now, vectors are one of these funny things that a lot of people really find quite confusing, but they're actually relatively straightforward. They're effectively a way of telling us how to get from A to B, how to, how to get somewhere. So, I've got this point here, and I want to get to this point over here. So, but all I know how to do is go straight and up. So if I want to tell it, so I'm going to tell someone I need to go this far in this direction, and then this far up. What I could say is this is vector A, which we denote vectors by an A with a line underneath it. You might see some other notation as well, but that's effectively how we do it. And then B here. Okay, so how do I actually get from point D to point E? So what is D to E in this case? That's how we denote sort of a vector. That's effectively the vector D to E. But what that will actually equal is A plus B. Okay, we want to go along A and along B. No problems at all. What about if we want to go from E to D? Well, if we want to go from D to E, we need to go minus B, don't we? Back down B, minus A. So the opposite of A. So we just go minus B, minus A. And that's as simple as vectors are. It might be you need to work out some trigonometry in it. So that you, might be, how do you, you might be asked, the classic crossing a river example. So you're crossing a river which is flowing in this direction. Okay, and it's got a current of A. You swim across like this at a speed B. Where do you end up? Well, you end up A plus B down the rip when you finally get across. Okay, so you end up going like that. And what you might be told is what the, the values of those vectors are. So you might be told the speed of the river is 10 metres a second, and the speed you can swim, so that equals A, and the speed you can swim is 25 metres a second. You're a bloody fast swimmer. Okay, so that would equal B. So then you might need to use your trigonometry, because effectively what you've got is a triangle like that with 25 for this side and 10 for this side. So to work this out, you might need to use Pythagoras. So you need to do 10 squared plus 25 squared in order to work that out. Or you might be asked what angle you need to swim at to end up at this point. In which case, you'd draw your arrow over here, and you want to end up there. So you're going to want to swim at this angle. So how do I make sure I end up here? Well, I've got to swim like that, so I come back across. So you'll need to find out this angle. So again, it's still just a triangle with your swimming speed this time being 25, the river pushing you at 10, but you wanting to get straight across. So you just need to work out what angle you'd need in order to achieve that. So vectors are relatively straightforward. This sort of vector question, the real life examples, don't often come up in exams. What often do come up are the sort of examples which we're about to go through right just now. Okay, so this is a typical vector question. We're given all this information here, and we've got to find these vectors. Now don't get freaked out because it all looks really complicated and you're not sure what to do. These are very straightforward questions. They're actually quite satisfying in the problem-solving aspect of them. So the first vector we need to find is O to Q. So basically, how do we get from O to Q using just the directions we're given? Well, here's O and here's Q. So we're going to want to go plus A to start with, aren't we? And we want to go up A. Okay, and then we're going to go along here. And we're told that A to Q is just one and a half A to P. Now A to P is just the vector B. So it's going to be one and a half times B. 
So it's just A plus one and a half B. So that's straightforward for that one. Okay, now we need to get from B to M. So B to M. Okay, first thing we're going to go up A, aren't we? We're going to go up A again. Because these sides are the same, so we're going to go up A. Now we need to get from P to M. And we're told that M is the midpoint of AP, so it's halfway along. So the vector we need, we need to go minus B to get to A, so we're going to need to go minus a half B to get to M. It's that straightforward. B to M, now B we need to get to M, but we know that M is the midpoint of BM, so M is halfway from B to M. So it's just half the vector from B to M. So it's literally a half brackets A minus a half B, which just gives us a half A minus a quarter B. Okay, because half a half is a quarter. So now we need to go from O to N. So again, it's just we've got to get to B first, so we're just going to do go along B, and then we're going to add a half A, and then we're going to minus a quarter B. So we end up overall with three quarters of B, B minus a quarter, plus a half A. And that's it, we've solved all those. We're then asked though, what does this tell us about the points O, N, and Q. What does it tell us about those points? So, to get from O to N, we have to go 3 quarters B plus a half A. And to get from O to Q, we go A plus one and a half B. So we can see that this vector here is just 2 times this vector, can't we, because 3 quarters times 2 is 1 and a half, sorry, and a half times, a 2 times a half is 1. So we can tell from that, because they're a multiple, one is a multiple of the other, that they lie on a straight line. Any vectors, any points that are the ve where the vectors are just multiples of one another that share a point, so ON and OQ. So ON and OQ, they, all those points must be on a straight line because they're multiples of one another. Okay? If they were the same vector, but they start, so if we had from, say, from A to O here and from O to N here, then, and they were exactly the same vectors or the same multiples of vectors, then they'd be parallel if they didn't share a common point. But as they share a common point, it means they're on a straight line. So that's vectors. That's how straightforward vectors are. There's obviously some questions for you to practice, so go and do those, and we'll carry on with the rest of the stuff when you come back.